My father does not allow me to wear the hijab until I reach the age of 18. The reason for that is because he does not understand why it is important and think that I am too young even though I have reached the age of puberty. I have spoken to him a lot of times but he does not listen. What should I do? Yeah, Sheikh Yusuf. Yusuf. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa rasulullah. I'm not a sheikh, even though my beard is gray, sheikh. But, um, subhanallah. Um, and for me to answer these questions in front of uh, some of the ulama is very bad. But uh, my understanding of the situation is that the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very clear. That the women should wear the hijab. And the rights to fulfill in front of Allah come first, even though the importance of looking after your mothers uh, in respecting your mother's wishes are incredibly important in Islam. The father, as well as the mother, of course, but the mother three times, the father once, according to the hadith. You know, if your father is asking you to break the rules of Allah, then you look to Allah first and you have to fulfill these requirements first. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair. Like, may I say... Sheikh Haytham, would you like to comment on it? Yeah. Okay. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. Uh, my dear young brothers and sisters, regarding problems between you and your parents, what I have noticed, and I have young children, that the young children, when they start to practice, they start to be rude to their parents. Yeah, they start to be rude to their parents. And the parents, they think that the version of Islam they are practicing, the parents, the way they practice, is the correct one. And they think that your version of Islam is something new. You are inventing it. And hence, they will not take you seriously. They think that you are going too extreme. And especially if you are rude to them, then, of course, they will say, this is a proof that your version of Islam is wrong. You have to come out to our version of Islam, which is what you don't need to... Uh, sometimes they think that prayer is, uh, is an advantage only. It is not a must. Wearing hijab is an advantage only. It is not a must, and so on and so forth. Especially my young brothers, if they see that you are rude or you are failing in your study, Okay, or you are not helping them financially, or you are not looking after your young children, or you are spending all of your time on Facebook and chatting and these things and neglecting other things, then they say, this young boy or this young girl, they don't know what they are doing. And now they are telling us all of a sudden they want to do this and that and this and that. So they will not accept it. So you need to improve your relationship with your parents. And once they see that you are a mature person despite of your young age, then wallahi, they will listen to you. Okay? And moreover, my dear respected brothers and sisters, you yourself, at one point, maybe you used to hate Islam. Agree? And then Allah guided you and you started to what? to practice Islam. So if that is the case with you, it might be the same case with your parents. So that's why deal with them in a very kind way, in a very sweet way, and believe me, they will accept it. Moreover, in particular for sisters. Sisters, I am a father of six children. And how many children do you have, Sheikh? MashaAllah. My six, how, how many? Three and four. How the oldest one is? Twenty. Twenty yeah. Uh, all of us parents. Uh, what? Uh, my my daughters. Believe me, the daughter is very very dear to her father's heart. Huh? Very dear to her father's heart. If she is sweet enough, wallahi, her father cannot refuse 
any request from her. And this is the relationship between a man and a woman. If the woman is sweet enough with the man, she will conquer and occupy his mind and his heart. She will humiliate him. She will enslave him. By what? By her feminine qualities and softness. So what you need uh, to do as a sister is you need to occupy your father's mind and heart by your sweetness and gentleness. And once you do this, you will tell him, I want to wear hijab. He will say, yes, I will be the first one to support him. You ask him, you want to do anything. Some many sisters, they were complaining that their parents are not allowing them to marry uh, people they want to marry. I tell them if they have done what I have just mentioned, their, your parents, your fathers will say, go ahead, I will support you. Jazakallah.